Claude Nicolas Guillaume de Lorimier was a businessman, official and political figure in Lower Canada. He was also known as Guillaume, Chevalier de Lorimier, Major de Lorimier, and by the Iroquois name Théo Hattacon. Claude Nicolas Guillaume de Lorimier was born in Lachine, Quebec, Canada in 1744. He was the son of Claude Nicolas de Lorimier de la Riviere and served as a junior officer when the British took control of New France. Lorimier aided the British in recruiting native warriors during the American Revolution and took part in the defense of Fort St. John's. He was wounded during an expedition led by Major General John Burgoyne into New York State in 1776. In 1783, following his service during the American Revolution as one of the leading officers of British Indian warriors, he married an Iroquois woman by the name of Marie-Louise Schuyler and the couple moved to Carnawag, where he became resident agent. Schuyler died in 1790. Claude was elected to the first Parliament of Lower Canada for Huntingdon in 1792. In 1793, Laurie Mere married Marie Madeleine Clare, the daughter of Seigneur Joseph Brassard de Chengo. In 1801, Claude remarried a third time, this time to Iroquois woman and Carnawake resident Anne Scowenitsai, with whom he had four children, including Antoine Georges de Laurie Mere. Claude served as resident captain for the Iroquois forces at Kornawaga during the War of 1812 and fought at the Battle of Chateau Guay. One of his sons, Guillaume Francois, was killed at the Battle of Chrysler's Farm, and another, Jean-Baptiste de Lorimier, was wounded at the Battle of Beaver Dams. Lorimier was named Deputy Superintendent of the Embodied Indian Warriors in 1814. He died in Carnawake in 1825. His son George de Lorimier was also known as Antoine George de Lorimier and George Orin Hayateka de Lorimier. He was a merchant, a wealthy landowner and a ferry operator in Carnawake. In 1835, George married Marie-Louise Macomba. Stephen Ambroise, Attorney Albert Emmanuel, Georges Gervais, Joseph and Jean-Baptiste were five of their 17 children. The first two still have many descendants in Montreal and the latter has descendants in places such as California, Delaware and Virginia. George de Lorimier lies buried under the St. Francis Xavier Mission in Carnawake. The first image shows Claude Nicolas Guillaume. The second image is a portrait of his son, Antoine George. This is a picture of his son, and Montreal attorney Albert Emmanuel de Lorimier.